Hello there YouTube, my name is Chogi and today I am playing some Battlefield 3, playing some Conquest Assault on Charky Peninsula, and today guys, I have got another sort of thinky commentary, let's say, uh, for you. I have a few things to talk about alongside the commentary as well, so I'll get to those first of all. Um, basically guys, in, in short, I want to say a massive thank you. Uh, well, let me put it like this, the 1st of July, I hit 4,000 subscribers, and basically guys, that blows my mind. Um, what I want to say really is a massive thank you to each and every one of you because uh, to be honest and I know I've said this before I never thought I'd get this far you know YouTube is a pretty fickle place um, but you know my motivation in things has always been to make videos about games it's a hobby of mine I wanted to talk to other people who did the same thing you know played games and it's been fantastic to see such a great response and the thing which really really sticks with me, I guess, is just how great you all are, it's like a little community. Uh, I'll be honest, the last few commentaries in particular I've put out have been quite involved in depth, but what I have truly loved to see is just how, well, in incredibly well you guys seem to respond to it, it's really very heartening, and basically I just want to say a massive thank you. Um, as a result, today I'm, I'm producing another sort of thinky commentary, I've said that, but Guys, I just want to say a massive thank you to each and every one of you. Um, I'll stop blubbering, I'll stop blubbering, but um, it really does mean a lot, so thank you for that. But today, I've already mentioned the word, this is going to be a commentary really about motivation. And how it can affect you in well various ways, both in real life, in game, everywhere. So to do that, I'm actually going to tell you a little story. And it's, well, it's not a very interesting story to be honest, but it taught me a lot. So, the first ever Battlefield game I played was Battlefield 2 Modern Combat, out on the PS2. And, well, I've mentioned that before, but basically, I got, if you will, my, you know, I cut my teeth on multiplayer gaming thanks to that game. It taught me a lot. It taught me, sort of, if you will, the notion of you pay, uh, or, or, you know, the people you pay with are the people you play with just because someone has the game doesn't necessarily mean they'll play the same way as you, and you've got to adapt and work with that. And it was there really which uh, I, I kind of got the notion of this motivation, what drives people to do things the, the way they do, and how people act, and all that kind of thing. Motivation is an interesting thing, really. It's, you know, every you know look at it, real life, in-game, whatever. No one does anything without some form of motivation. Either it would benefit them directly, or get something they want done, etc. And really, I found that thanks to playing games like Battlefield, that by understanding your motivation and someone else's motivation, great things can happen. Time for my story. So basically, Battlefield 2 Modern Combat, the ranking system was a little bit different to what you have these days. Uh, to rank up in the game, first of all you had to achieve a base score, which is pretty standard, just think of it as XP. But on top of that, you had to fulfill two other requirements. One was a number of medals, and basically medals were awarded for completing tasks. And then you had a score per minute sort of figure, which you had to be above. And the, th the trick is that obviously the medals and the score stay constant, but if you start to play badly, you'll actually demote. So this caused a few things to happen people to always play or try and play at their best, but at the same time you'd have people playing for fun, playing for the medals, whatever. Now the thing with these medals were that they were not easy to get at all. They were the likes of kill four people uh, with an assault rifle without reloading, heal X amount of health without dying, getting 15 kills in a helicopter without dying, this kind of thing. Not easy to do, all in all, and the biggest thing which would slow people down really were the medals. And it was pretty blatantly obvious when you were playing who was going after a medal and who wasn't. Now one day I was going after a medal myself. I was trying to rank up, I'd done a couple of medals which were relatively straightforward, and I wanted to try and get a medic medal. Now I can't remember the ins and outs of it completely, but the basic story is this. I had to heal so many sort of units of health, I think it was like 200 or something health, without dying in one life as a medic. Now that sounds quite easy. Um, but it wasn't, because if I remember rightly, uh, Modern Combat, you didn't have a health pack which you could drop down, you had like a little medic gun, which you sprayed at the target and that was it, you had to wait for it to recharge. And that only, I don't think that re fully replenished their health either, it only replenished a bit. 
So what you would do as a medic is you would run to a friendly who was injured, spraying them with the stuff, and then they would normally run off because they're, so they're being healed. The thing is, you would then run after them, and by doing that, all other sort of conscious thought goes out the window, and of course you get killed. That was the problem I was facing. I just couldn't get people to stay in one place or, or work with me long enough to get them healed. And I kind of go, well, guys, you know, I'm trying to do you a favour here. I'm trying to help you. And at the same time, I was trying to obviously get this medal. So one day I was playing on the map called Bridge Too Far. I was at somewhere, and there was a guy being shot at. So I went and healed him, and he ran off, and then I think he had, like, a shotgun shell to the face or something. And I just went, oh, come on, guys. You know, I'm trying to do this medic thing here. If you want to be healed, you know... Shoot at me, jump around, whatever, and I'll heal you. And then over the mic, I hear a guy talk to me. Say, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I know what it's like getting that medal. Uh, medal. Meet me at this flag, and we'll sort it out. And I'm kind of like, sort it out. What do you mean? So at this point, I'd healed a few people. I was maybe I don't know one if you will heal off getting the thing done. And of course, you get very, very nervous, very tetchy. You don't want it to go wrong. So I made my way over, and I was quite cautious. And what the guy did is he jumped off a off a roof, basically. And much like Battlefield 3, um, you, don't, you take some pretty significant fall damage from falling. Sure enough, he jumped off the roof, he let me put the medic, whatever it was, on him, and ding, medal, rank up. It was at that point I went, wait, someone has just taken time in their game to help me out. Why? Why would they do that? And I asked him, well, well I said, thank you, first of all. And I asked, why the hell did you do that? And he said, we've all been there. We've all been in the situation where we want to get something done. We all have our little personal missions. But in a team game, you need everyone to be a team player. And if that means going out your way to be a team player to help them get that done, so be it. Because in the long run, you'll be better off. And that message has stuck with me. And I have gone out of my way. It's almost like the Good Samaritan thing. You know, I have gone out of my way to help people. Even though it would, well, negate me. You know, not be any of any advantage. And the reason I talk about motivation today is when you think about it, these like in-game achievements, the little in-game missions, they're still around. Think of the assignments which were released with close quarters. Particularly the EOD bot kill. I've been in games where I've seen three or four guys on the same team all going after that EOD bot kill. And it's a bugger. It's by far and away the hardest thing to do. And the thing is, if you've got a couple guys trying to do it at the same time, it isn't going to work for you. It really isn't, because people get wise to it. So what I've been doing as of late, I've been letting the EOD bots kill me. And the reason I'm letting people do that is, you know, I play games to have fun, to play, you know, be challenged, competitive, whatever. And by playing against a team where three people aren't playing their roles or not contributing, that isn't fun for me, anyway. Um, so I've been, you know, getting myself killed, and it's weird, but it gives you a great sense of satisfaction. Because, you know, sometimes you'll get, you know, I've had a few messages saying, thank you so much for letting me do that, you have no idea how long I've been trying to do that, and all that kind of thing, you know. It's it's a win-win situation. It's fantastic. And, really, it's when motivations align, I guess, that good times are had. I don't know. So, really, what I'm trying to say here is... As you play a game, or as you do something in real life, bear in mind what others might want to try and achieve. And if you can help them achieve that, and by extension help you achieve something, why not help them? Think about it in this sense. Say you're playing Battlefield 3. Say that you're trying to get the EOD bot kill or something. Say, like, there's a friendly or something trying to do it, and you see them, then, you know, they're struggling, for whatever reason. Why don't you try and help them out by, like, baiting an enemy in, or, or, you know, whatever. Make it as easy as possible, you know, wound but don't kill, that kind of deal. By freeing up that teammate, well, not only did they get done what you want to get done, but if you're, you know, you need an engineer because, you know, a tank's ripping stuff up, you get an engineer as sort of a bonus. It's a win-win situation, I guess, is what I'm saying. And by thinking about how people will be playing and what they're trying to achieve, that actually can be very useful when it comes to playing games just in general. Say, I don't know, you want to, uh, you know, you want to snipe someone, you want to be a sniper like this guy. You know, that's karma for you, you use RPGs on infantry, you get sniped in the head from long range, good shot. Um, you know, say someone wants to try and get something snipery done. If you've done that before, you're aware of what, what you need to do, more than likely you'll be aware of where people might hide, or where may, people might try and 
sort things out or try and get you, I don't know. By having that knowledge, you're prepared, and, you know, being prepared is often, you know, the big battle here when you play games. Take, for instance, this situation here. A is being lost to the enemy, people are dying. Previous knowledge tells me, heck, there's probably going to be someone covering the front staircase. Sure enough, there you go, and, uh, you know, problem dealt with because I went another way. But understanding what people want to do and how they could potentially do that, that can be very, very useful. So really my message here today, guys, is be aware of others. Be aware of what they want to try and do, and if you can help, align your motivation so you can both profit, do that. I play games for fun and to be, uh, you know, competitive, whatever else. If I can help other people achieve whatever they want to achieve as well at the same time, win-win. i got no problem with that. But once you understand motivation and why people do things, and how potentially they do them, you can become a very powerful force indeed. So there you go, motivation. It's, uh, it's a powerful thing, a very powerful thing. And once, once you understand the way people do things and how they do it and for why, you can certainly, not only in game but in real life as well, become a very, very valuable asset to workplace, friends, whatever, you know. If you know how to drive a car, someone needs to go somewhere. Do that? Whatever, I don't know. <laughs> so, really guys, as I think to 4,000 subscribers, that milestone again, my motivation hasn't changed. I want to talk about games, I want to talk about how to, you know, my experiences, stories I've got, and just in general, things on my mind. And when I see, you know, you guys taking the time to subscribe, leave all your great feedback, your comments, all that jazz, and, and just be a part of it, it's fantastic, because, you know, my motivation is to make videos about games and just have a, a chat about it. And when that works for me, that, you know, I could not ask for any better. So, again guys, I want to say a massive thank you for 4,000 subscribers. And this motivation stuff, it's quite valuable. Very valuable indeed. So, I hope this, this will be useful. It's certainly something I've been thinking about a lot. And once a team comes together, you can, uh, you know, and work together, get those motivations aligned, even if it is part with the enemy team, you can go far. Take, for instance, that game there. I joined late, it was a couple hundred, well, it was about a hundred tickets, maybe 80 down. We pulled it back. Motivations aligning wins you matches, I'm not joking. Anyway, I'll stop rabbiting on now. So, guys, I've been Juggy, and as always, thank you for watching. If you could leave a like, dislike, whatever you believe this video deserves, that'd be fantastic. If you have any thoughts at all, please do feel free to leave a comment. I read them all. Unfortunately, I can't answer them all, which sucks, but uh, I read every single comment, that's a promise. And if you want to see more videos from myself, you can always subscribe. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the gameplay and the commentary. Thank you for 4,000 subscribers. Thank you for your great support. But I've been Truggy and I'll see you next time out on the battlefield.